The Blessed Association of Retired Persons Foundation Incorporated, or PARP, was founded in 1999 by concerned retirees, headed by Professor Federico A. Balanag. It is the PARP Foundation's aim to develop opportunities among the members and to keep them active and productive while aging. The members and officers come from all walks of life and from all sectors. There are businessmen, farmers, miners, laborers, social workers, nurses, teachers, educators, doctors, engineers, lawyers, bankers, management specialists, librarians, administrators, and military and policemen. Because of this, the association has a wealth of skills and talents at their disposal and ready to be tapped for productive undertakings. Its motto is, to serve as we had served. It is registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission as a non-stock and non-profit organization. It is also accredited by the Department of Social Welfare and Development CAR as a community-based program for elderly persons and also accredited with the local government unit, City of Baguio, and Province of Benguet. PARP Foundation Incorporated is a senior organization member of World Association of Non-Government Organizations. It is also a member of the Baguio NGO Multisectoral Council Incorporated. It is patterned after the American Association of Retired Persons in the United States of America. It is also affiliated with the Philippine Association of Retired Persons and Coalition of Services for the Elderly. In September 2000, Founding President Professor Federico E. Balanag invited Dean Macario Fronda of St. Louis University to compose the music for the hymn. Ms. Lyra Biandam was selected to compose the lyrics. The BARP Vision. It is the BARP Foundation's vision to provide a venue where the members can realize their dreams and aspirations and live a worthwhile life within a caring and sharing community. The BARP Mission to establish sustainable members' projects and programs through sound advocacy, resource mobilization, and capability building in collaboration with similar non-government organizations, national government institutions, local government units, and international agencies to serve the needs of members and their families and the community. The BARP Foundation actively engages in programs that promote a better quality of life, respect for human dignity, caring and sharing, and continuing opportunities for self-fulfillment. The BARP Center for Retirees and the Elderly. In May 2012, the BARP Foundation acquired a 750 square meter lot located in Bukalkan Road, Baguio City, where the BARP Foundation Center for Retirees and the Elderly is envisioned to rise. Currently, BARP member architects and engineers, along with volunteers and supporters that believe in this advocacy, have teamed up to lay the groundwork carefully planning and designing the BARP Foundation Center for Retirees and the Elderly, making certain that the design meets the quality and standards of this noble legacy. The BARP Foundation Center for Retirees and the Elderly aims to serve its 80,000 and growing members and the community in a one-stop venue where services can be provided and enjoyed conveniently in an elderly-friendly atmosphere. This facility will be the first of its kind in the city of Baguio. It will provide medical, health, fitness, well-being, rehabilitation, lifestyle, and legal services with easy access to quality on-site elderly care. Our programs. The Special Mutual Assistance Program aims to provide financial aid to name direct beneficiaries of deceased members of good standing. The Regular Mutual Assistance Program, or RMAP, premium is built in the obligatory annual due, while the Special Mutual Assistance Program, SMAP, premium is paid separately. The names of rightful beneficiaries and the amount to be paid to each shall be listed in the monthly publication, The Golden Years, which shall be disseminated during the General Assembly held every last Saturday of the month. The BARP Multipurpose Cooperative 
the Barb Multipurpose Cooperative was established on June 20, year 2000. It was established to encourage thrift and savings among the members and uh, of course to help them in their venture or in the pursuit of livelihood activities for themselves, for their family and for their friends and the community. It uh, aims also to lift whatever their stations in life to be able for them to have more useful and rewarding life. The medical and dental care program has been set up to provide affordable and accessible health care to members and immediate family members, including non-member senior citizens and the handicapped. It has also established links with various associations in line with its medical and dental missions to enhance physical and mental fitness with the hope of promoting longer life among senior citizens. The Barp Boutique and Ambayan aims to provide affordable medicines and other health products to members and their families. Medical and dental committees are also in place to undertake health care and social connection programs to enhance physical and mental fitness to hopefully extend life of members. The Group Hospitalization Assistance Program, or GHAP, helps to cover accidental injury or death and is available to BARP members and to members of their immediate family aged 10 and above who qualify and pay the minimal cost. When the BARP Foundation receives due proof of member confinement in the hospital resulting from an accident, the GHAP will pay the Daily Hospitalization Benefit or DHB. In order to be eligible for hospitalization benefits, the member's account must be active during the month before confinement and during the months of confinement. The BARP Student Assistance Program, or BSAP, was established in 2009. This program intends to leave a meaningful legacy for the education of indigent but deserving children or grandchildren of BARP members. The program is open for academic and technical vocational courses. Tuition fees, miscellaneous fees, monthly stipends, and uniforms are taken care of by the Foundation. The BARP Calamity Relief and Medical Assistance Program's objective is to provide immediate relief and assistance to victims of natural and man-made calamities nationwide. It is in the spirit of giving that members can show their support for the relief efforts by serving as volunteers, donating goods and money, offering vehicles for the relief distribution, asking network and partner organizations for donations, and reporting situations of other BARP members who need special assistance or intervention. The Foundation reaches out to affected families through the provision of a soup kitchen, relief goods, medical missions, and other relief assistance within 24 hours of the calamity's occurrence. Through the BARP CR map, people who are moved to help are able to share their blessings with people in need. The BARP Foundation has various other notable projects that are currently ongoing. Among them is the Life is Green program that encourages members to be active and productive while in retirement by planting fruit-bearing trees, vegetables, and other plants in their backyard gardens while keeping their surroundings clean and green at all times. The Rose Garden for the Elderly, which is situated in Burnham Park. Likewise, the physical fitness program encourages the members to keep themselves physically fit through physical exercise, calisthenics, games and sports, including fun and social activities like dancing and singing. The Bar Publication and Bookmaking Project, also known as Publication and Media Services, shall perform two main functions, to coordinate and monitor the different publications of Bar and to help members who would like to write articles and books. The Halfway Home Center shall work to provide free or at least affordable medical, dental, and social services, a physical fitness center, nursing homes for the aged, and lodging for the elderly. Like the Halfway Home Center, the Barb Retirement Village was conceived to be well situated, more or less self-sufficient and self-sustaining, with medical and dental services that will assure quality health care, organic farming, planting of fruit-bearing trees, and fish culture will also be encouraged. The Human Resource Development and Consultancy Program will conduct seminars, symposia, livelihood and skills training that will help to keep the elderly fruitful even in their later years. How to be a member 
The Park Foundation is open to retirees, senior citizens, and young individuals 38 years until 70 years of age. Applicants aged 71 to 73 may be accepted as members on a case-to-case -case basis, depending on the assessment and recommendation of a BARP accredited physician. The applicant must attend a mandatory pre-membership seminar, which is conducted by a BARP officer every Monday to Saturday between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the BARP Foundation head office located at the ground floor of Otex Square Building, Otex Street, Baguio City. The pre-membership seminar may also be conducted by coordinators in their respective towns and municipalities. The applicant is required to undergo a medical examination at the BARP Diagnostic Center or by a physician duly accredited by the BARP Foundation, after which he should submit a duly accomplished membership application form. Membership application forms are available at the BARP office or could be downloaded from the BARP website. This should be accompanied by a pre-membership seminar attendance certificate, a medical certificate, a certified barangay clearance, two recent ID pictures, and any two of the following documents. Birth certificate, baptismal certificate, senior citizen's ID, driver's ID, postal ID, Comelec ID, after the medical tests, pre-membership seminar, and submission of the requirements. The applicant is required to pay the amount of 1,860 pesos, which covers the regular mutual assistance program annual dues, or RMAP, membership fees, legal fees, and annual contribution to the BARP scholarship and building funds. The member shall receive the following, a BARP ID, T-shirt, passbook, the BARP Code of Ethics and Conduct, and a BARP PIN. On January of every year thereafter, an annual RMAP payment of 950 pesos will be collected from each member. Aside from the annual fees, each member is also required to pay the Special Mutual Assistance Program monthly fee of 500 pesos in order to be of good standing. The SMAP monthly contribution is subject to replenishment by BARP members depending on the number of deaths of members per month. The SMAP contribution may be paid monthly, quarterly, or annually as preferred by the member. Upon a member's death, his beneficiary will receive cash benefits from the Special Mutual Assistance and the regular Mutual Assistance programs. If death occurs during the first to third year of membership, his beneficiary is entitled to receive from the Special Mutual Assistance program 5 pesos multiplied by the number of active BARP members and over that 5,000 pesos from the regular Mutual Assistance program. Four years to six years of membership entitles the beneficiary to receive 10 pesos multiplied by the number of active members and 10,000 pesos cash. Seven years to nine years of membership, 15 pesos times the number of active members and 15,000 pesos. Ten years of membership onwards, 20 pesos times number of active members and 20,000 pesos from the RMAP. For example, if a member dies on his seventh year of membership and given that the BARP Foundation currently has 8,000 active members, his beneficiary will receive 15 pesos times 8,000 members equivalent to 120,000 pesos and 15,000 pesos cash for a grand total of 135,000 pesos. In effect, depending on the number of years of membership, the SMAP benefit grows as the number of active members grow. The dedicated men and women of the BARP Foundation are here to answer any other questions you may have. For general information, you may visit us at our office located at Unit 3, Ground Floor, Otex Square Building, Otex Street, Corner Rizal Street, 2600 Baguio City, or call 446 8954. For membership questions and member support, you may email barp.foundation at gmail.com or visit our website at www.barpfoundation.com.
programs will not be successful without the generosity and kind-heartedness of our donors. Now, it's even simpler to contribute to the program that you believe in and wish to support. There are several options for donation, so donors can choose which one is most convenient for them for cash donations. Or you can send your donations online through our website, www.barbfoundation.com.